All right, yeah, um, I, I'm kind of out of stuff to say, honestly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just really out of stuff to say because I mean, right now it, we're getting, we're getting to the portion of the game where I mean, not a lot of stuff is really happening. I mean, it's mostly just you know odd jobs like go here, do this, come back, hooray, here's your reward, and wow, son of a bitch, Jesus Christ! I barely even tapped that guy, and then everyone blew up. All right, well, you know, at least the, the Crimson Guards aren't after me, so uh, I'll take that as a good thing. At least I can get away with that in GTA. Because you see, not GTA, Jack 2. Because unlike G um, unlike uh, GTA, in Jack 2, at least the Crimson Guards don't really give a shit about anything unless you physically hurt them. In GTA, if you do this, if you pretty much scratch another card, the cops will be like, oh, no, we're going to chase you. You're gonna, we're going to chase your ass down. I'm just like, but well, why didn't even do anything to you guys? But, yeah, um, that's done. Wee. Alright, so let's go down to the sewers of my favorite place to go to any video game. Ugh, yeah. And let's go find um Crew's artifact. But you know, one thing is, how did the artifact even end up in the sewers? I mean, it's just like it's the one thing that crew flushed that artifact down the toilet. Because I mean, if anything, that's that's Crew's fault. He should be the one that's bring his fast down there and just uh, searching for it. But because it's me, uh, I gotta go get this thing. Yeah. Alright, so that place looks new, so let's take out our hoverboard and let's go over there. Wee! All right, you know, at least uh, at least this place is you know making me utilize the hoverboard because God knows I haven't really been using this a lot. And cool, Jack's Pro Skater. Woo! Oh crap! Ooh, this is a sharp turn, and yup, this is why I was awesome at Tony Ox Pro Skater. And wait, was this a, a valve? Ooh! Yeah. Okay, what's what's down here? Oh, well, you want? Know yeah, let me just use the hoverboard for now on because I have a feeling there's gonna be like a, a weird fish creature thing that just comes up and eats me out of nowhere. Wait, can I, I can't shoot. Yeah, I, oh crap, I can't shoot. All right, so I guess let's just keep on uh, going through over here. So I mean, wow, this this should actually be a pretty fun mission. I think, but we're actually using the hoverboard. So I mean, okay, I'm gonna stop my bitching. You know, unless there's a really cheap part in this uh, section, which I kind of forgot what happens over here. Uh, I'm going to stop my complaining. Yeah. Another valve. Let's see what's over here. Just how deep did Crew flush down this artifact? Because I'm actually um, I'm actually a little curious just how deep Crew was. And, like, you know, what kind of toilet this guy flushed his artifact down in? Oh, Jesus. Jesus! Okay. Crap. Before, before anything changes. All right. Okay. These, this is, um... They they really want me to have like the jukes for this section. Woo! Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Wee. And oh great, there's even more down there. Okay, so where exactly am I going right now? Is there like a faucet around here? Oh no, over here. Oh, just great. I gotta jump over this now. And woo! I really wish I could do some tricks over here. It sucks though you can't really pull off tricks because I mean even though tricks aren't really that useful in the game You know, it's, it's still a pretty cool, neat idea, you know Just going around doing awesome jumps and you know, maybe pulling off a stun or two and It just sucks you can't really use tricks out in the open world. Hey, nice! Okay, I have a feeling there might be a precursor orb around here I don't know, it's, Ah, whoa, okay, that was... That was a little weird <laughs> It's like we got stuck in it, we just got like launched as a result, so I mean, whatever Okay, right, let's keep on going! We're probably almost done, hopefully yeah. Woo! Okay, I would have sucked if I landed on a landmine right there. That would have sucked. Oh. Okay, should be somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Whoa! Got it. Where would you be without me, eh, Dax? Well, Jack, I probably wouldn't be two feet tall, fuzzy, and running around in a sewer without a pair of pants. God, I miss pants. You know, Dax did have a point. It was kind of Jack's fault that Dax turned to an otzel. So, <laughs> okay, Dax, maybe you, maybe you do have a point. All right, so where am I going exactly? Because, I mean, um, we kind of went through like a half pipe to reach the uh, eggs ent um, from the entrance. So, I mean, maybe this might take me back to it. Oh, hey, yeah, it, it, it took me back to it. Okay. You know, maybe that that wasn't so bad. All right, so where am I going exactly? Oh, I'm going over here. That's right. 
Okay, Chris, just don't fall down. Just don't fall down. All you gotta do is make it to that door, and then we're home. We're home free. I don't think we ever have to come back to the sewers again. Hopefully, and that would seriously suck if we do, because God, I hate the sewers. I mean, th that that mission was actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie though. Doing that mission was actually really fun because I got to use the hoverboard. Because God, I, this game does not like me to utilize the hoverboard. Okay, we got three locations now. We got crew. We got the uh, the raceway, and we got torn. So which one's the closest? Torn is the closest, so we're gonna go to Torn because why not? And I mean, if this is the last mission Torn really has for us for a while, I mean, at least we can knock out him. And then afterwards, I, I kind of want to go back to the raceway, raceway because um, yeah, I, I think Jack is overdue for a little um trip for his lady friend. And we should probably give uh, Crew back his artifacts soon. But I mean, ah, eh, that fast could wait. This guy makes us do the most odd jobs, and that guy just blow up. Yeah, I think that guy just blew up. So uh, just gonna. Go inconspicuously. I want you boys to escort the kid over to Core at the power station. He promised to look out for the boy, and I'm just too busy to babysit right now. Oh, and take the kid's crocodog with you. Oh, isn't he sweet? <laughs> so what's this kid's story? I found him just wandering the streets, but that amulet around his neck means he may just be the lost heir to the city. Take the kid and the mutt to the power station. Watch out for guard patrols and defend the kid at all costs. Oh, and uh, if you happen to lose the crocodog. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like uh, this kid has some sort of importance. All right, kid and his crocodog. Wow, what? Jeez. Okay, that. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to be breaking a few laws right now. And on the bright side, these guys drop ammo. So, I mean, killing these guys, um, I'm not really, I'm not really, you know, uh, losing anything if I just keep shooting them. But also, you know, I, I have a theory. You know, do you think if I got, if you think if I get a car, the kid might actually, you know, come in it? Because, I mean, if I just get a car, maybe, like, I don't know, maybe he just, he, he, he might just want to ride in it? I mean, the crocodile might run. Crap, where'd the kid go? Where is he? No! No crap! Kid, stop! Oh my god, this kid really. Jesus Christ. Oh, this car! Perfect! Alright, kid, get inside! Wait, 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 wait. What? Kid! God damn it! Alright, so uh, I'm going to cut when we get back to that car because I'm not going to lie though, just killing all those guys was getting a little bit tedious. So I'll see you guys when we kill all those guards. <coughs> okay. <coughs> oh, crap. We're back. Alright, sorry. Oh, my gosh. So, sorry about the cough. Okay. It's just, you know, I tried talking while I had a little bit of saliva in my mouth and then I kind of choked on, sal on that saliva. Okay, crap. But anyway, though, you know, we got to a car, so hooray for that. You know, my theory was sort of correct. Okay, but yeah, let's get let's get this kid uh, to core because, god damn it, these these guards really do want this kid for some stupid reason. I mean, to be fair, this kid may be the hit the lost air tomorrow, but still though, I mean, Jack does have a point though because if you listen to Jack's dialogue, he shouts out, "This is just a kid," and yeah, you know, he does have a point though. It's just a kid. How corrupt is this? You know, uh, are the guards in this uh, universe? Jesus Christ. I mean, to be fair, though, we do see a little bit of that in, like, today's society. So, I mean, this would be pretty good social commentary. But still, though, like, Jesus Christ, he's just a kid. All right, we made it over here. So, let them get out of the car. Okay, no more guards. All right, good, no more guards. I mean, it's right there. So, come on, Crocodog, just uh, go. I'm pretty sure the kid will follow. Oh, man, I really want to give away who this kid is, but I can't. <laughs> Crap, gotta go, gotta go. Crap, there's a guard up there, I think. No! Okay, I think we made it. Unless... No! Get away! Do we do it? Crap, has gotta fend off the guards. Okay, we did it. Yes! Alright, thank God. Seamus told us to bring the kid to you. Thank you. I'll be sure to keep him good. Oh, sweet. 
Interesting. That insufferable mutt never liked anyone but the boy before. I guess I'm just good with animals. I hope we have enough eco to keep the metalheads at bay. During my travels in the deep wasteland, I saw some of the bigger ones. Awesome creatures. We saw a big one coming out of a rift once. He was ugly! <laughs> I have some valuable information for you. The Baron is conducting an excavation at the dig. He is still looking for that ridiculous tomb. Frankly, I don't believe it exists. But you might as well go out there and disrupt his operation just in case. Knock down all the scaffolding at the site. That should set him back. Here is an air train pass to get you out there. All right, there was a hell of a lot of foreshadowing in that one cutscene. Jesus Christ. And oh my God, there's so many missions and crap. They're still after me. I mean, wait. Are they still after me? Well, I mean, that guy wasn't after me. Okay, so you know what? Let's go and um, let's go and use that new air pass. So yeah, I mean, do I max that one cutscene though? If you know what happens at the end, there was so much foreshadowing in that one cutscene. Oh my God, like damn! I don't want to go into it because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But like, yeah, d Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, we well, will. Now time to get to a new mechanic in this game. I really a new mechanic, more like a new mode of transportation. So since we have the air pass, we can go over to this mini ship if, if um over here. If you guys saw it when we had to blow up the um uh the the the, the packages over here in the docks before, yeah, it's we could use this now. So let's go. And let's see where we're going to now. Okay, that was um that was pretty cool, I guess. And now we're going to the excavation site. So we pretty much gotta disrupt all uh, the Baron's excavation of the Tomb of Mar, I think. I, I think it was the Tomb of Mar. Or it was a tomb or something. So let's go. I think it's over here. I hope it's over here because this would seriously suck. Let me just look at my map first. Alright, so... Yeah, it, it should be over here, I think. I, I hope. So let's go. So we gotta knock down all the scaffolding. You know what? Now I'm playing this game again. You know, Jack the Lost Frontier, that PSP game, which is, I guess, supposed to be Jack 4. It reuses a lot of similar missions and... Uh, stage layouts from Jack 2 now that I think about it. I mean, I, I haven't played Jack the Lost Frontier like in a long, long time. So like, maybe my memory might be like a little fuzzy on it. And crap, we got grenade launchers now. So yeah, maybe my memory might be like, maybe, it might be like a little fuzzy on it. But like, I swear, I remember a mission that's so similar to this where we had to like knock down scaffolding. And it looked exactly like this too. I mean, maybe, maybe it was like the same area because I mean, the Lost Frontier does um, like, you know, reuse like very similar like level layouts, but I remember this being like so like on point. All right, so we will now we got knocked down 24 scaffolding. So, uh, where do we begin? Ah, uh, crap! I honestly have no idea where we should begin. I mean, I guess the first thing is you know get ammo because that last mission honestly took out a lot from me. And okay, yeah, that's not what we need. Okay, scaffolding, where are you at? Because, god damn it, it's I I this place. Okay, this might be a scaffolding. If that's not it. Okay, you know what? Maybe I have an idea. Maybe we have to use these the grenade things that they're throwing at us to like actually break these things down. Because, I mean, theoretically, what am I supposed to do? Grind on the support bases to break the cable. Wait, press to grind on the rail. Okay, so um, where exactly am I grinding right now? Ow. Okay, I mean me. Okay, over here. All right, I get it now. Okay, this is um, this should be pretty easy theoretically. So let's try it. There we go. All right, that's not pretty hard. I mean, I just gotta have to like, you know get the hops, but yeah, that's um, out. That's pretty much all I gotta do. So where's the next rail I gotta grind on? All right, let's keep going. Okay, there we go. A couple more. Crap, it's up there. Ah, oh, I gotta get up there now. Crap. I right, move. Uh, um, um. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where exactly am I going? 
And crap, my mic is falling out. Dang, I gotta adjust it. Ah, oh, no! Damn it. Okay, I gotta find another way up there. See, and now the fun part begins. How do I get up there to remove the other scaffolding? Um... I mean, I could do this. And my plan worked! Alright, that, that was pretty... Not even pretty easy. That was actually pretty smart of me to do. And perfect. Nine more. Six more. Okay, where's the last? We, we're, on, we're down the last few. Oh, right, come on. Where's missing? Three more. Yes, there's a three. And we did it. Woo! All right, I feel... Whoa. Okay, you know what? That was pretty worth the explosion. All right, now let's GTFO out of here before, you know, they actually get the, uh, the, get the clue to start shooting at me. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so now I get, let's go back to crew. Let's see what he has to do. And god damn, my head's starting to hurt again. You guys ever get like that, like that week where like your head just starts to hurt every day for no apparent reason? Like so far, this has been my week and I, I, I don't know why. It's just like lately my head's just been like in pain. Maybe it's because like I've been staying home a lot because I, I have been staying home a lot. But like that, that, that how does staying home like, you know, result in my head like hurting like a bitch? Wait, what's this? Is it going to be like a cutscene or are we just going to like walk in? Okay, we're just gonna walk in. I thought it was gonna be like you know, like a tiny little cutscene of Jack and Astro like reflecting on what we just did. Uh, I, I guess not. Oh my god! All right, we're back in Haven City. Yay! Okay, so yeah, let's let's head back to crew. Let's see what he wants. How many more? Okay, we're ah oh, man. There's still so much more we gotta do. Damn it! Now the missions are gonna start pouring in. Holy crap! All right, you know what? Yeah, let's 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 go over here. Let's go to crew. Let's see what he wants. I mean, honestly, at this point, I have no idea what we what we should do and what we shouldn't. So, I mean, whatever makes us progress more in the story, uh, I'm I'm pretty much okay with it. But since crew is like right there, let's do crew. All right, crew, what do you want this time? I've already done like 20 missions from you, but one more can't hurt. So there I was, toe to toe with five of the nastiest metalheads you ever saw. Slime oozing from monstrous jaws. Teeth sharper than daggers. Slowly, all ten of them surround me. But do I surrender? No! I summon my highly trained killer instincts and pounce! Yah! Cool! And when the dust cleared, there were 20 less metalheads in the world. Oh, Daxter, you're amazing. Yeah, I know. Scratch me there. Quite a story there, golden boy. I guess you're just the animal I need for another dangerous gig. Combat metalheads have now been spotted right here in Haven Forest. These new bad boys have special camouflage, so they're tough to spot. But I'm sure with your killer instincts, you'll manage. Go to the forest and take them all out. 